Balloon flowers, or platycodons as they're known botanically, are fun summer flowering perennials that we can grow in our garden and puts on a terrific show. They're a very hardy zone 3 plant that's native to Japan and northern China and Korea where they grow in meadows and grassy hillsides and pop up through the grass to show off their highly unusual flowers. As you see they start out first with rounded buds but then as these begin to develop they turn into these highly unusual balloon shaped flowers that look like the old fashioned balloons that the Mongolfia brothers would have flown in. And then as the flowers begin to open fully, you'll see that they have this lovely bell shaped flower that comes in pretty shades of blue, white and pink. Now, several of the varieties that are currently available are quite tall. They're nice, but they tend to need staking and they get a bit floppy, particularly after rainstorms. And so we like this nice compact selection that's called Sentimental Blue. Here's one that only gets to about six or eight inches high and as you see produces lots and lots of buds so it will keep the color going well through most of the summer months. You'll find they're also not really troubled by any pest and diseases worth talking about so they're really very colorful and easy to look after. You can grow them in either sunny or partially shaded conditions. One thing about them is that once they're planted, they don't really like to be disturbed. So it's important when you get them that you get good compact plants like this that are well grown and healthy in a container. That means that they'll quickly transition into their new spot in your garden. And then when you have them there, try not to disturb them because they resent disturbance. One other thing that I mentioned about them is that they tend to be one of the last perennials to emerge in springtime. So there's a tendency sometimes, certainly in my garden, when I accidentally dig some up, I just, I'm looking, I forget that they're there, and so just be a little aware of that and careful. Other than that, you'll find them really terrific, short, compact varieties, and at the Chicago Botanic Gardens, where they undertook a study for four years looking at the various varieties of platycodons that we could grow in our garden, this variety, Sentimental Blue, was one of their top performers. So it's a very nice variety that I think you'll enjoy growing in your garden too. This is Platycodon Sentimental Blue.